Okay, so the number one box office draw of the year 2014 is a film as a comic film that has no big names, that's super high concept, that has very few technical human characters, had a lot of aliens, a super high concept. Oh, did I also mention that it's got a talking tree? And a creature that looks like a raccoon. Yes, Guardians of the Galaxy, as of right now, is the number one box office draw of 2014. The weirdest thing, the closest thing you could compare this film to would kind of be like Green Lantern, where you've got a, a predominantly, of, you have one human character surrounded by aliens. Differences, Green Lantern did lots of CGI, had a really bizarre story where they went way too far to try to push a concept regarding the galaxies. Had a, had a fantastic job when it came to casting all these different characters. And they didn't get a lot of you know, dynamic adjustments to them, but they had just enough to let you know what's going on. It's like, what's Gamora's backstory? It's this. Okay. Everyone got like a real quick one to two sentence which was enough to make this story progress. And Groot, Talking Tree, has two different lines done by Vin Diesel. Ironically, seemed to just take the country almost by storm, which is the craziest thing that when people are like, yeah, so the movie's got a talking tree. Then they see it, and they're like, dude, it had a talking tree. That was just awesome. Groot, greatest talking tree since the ends from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Just an amazing talking tree with very, very little lines of dialogue. And of course, Guardians of the Galaxy by far had to have probably one of the best soundtracks ever. 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 It took all jam songs. You know, it had... It worked well as a comedy. You know, had some dancing in it, some nice choreography. Almost non-stop action. It's probably one of the the films that was actually a popcorn film that hit every other note, did it well, had drama in the beginning, which was just enough to kind of be like, yeah, here's this character, here's what he's dealing with, boom. Next time you're going to see him, yeah, he's, he's rocking out and he's dancing on a foreign planet to steal something. What is it? It doesn't matter. You'll find out towards the end of the film. Everything had that nice build up to it, just very, very well done. I'm glad to see that this film, this film actually overtook Transformers 4. So, I let you know that you can do a film, super high concept, get the right people, film it in a way that's smart and not overly elaborate, great voice acting, a script that for most people probably would have made no sense, but was executed well.